Prequels are those odd games which have significant graphical and mechanical advances over their predecessors and yet are supposed to take place before those other lesser advanced games. Huh. Hey, it's Game Rant, and here are the seven best prequel games of all time ranked. Number seven, Arkham Origins. Let's get this one out of the way as we know how passionate Batman Arkham Origin fans can get, and for good reason. While you can debate its overall quality, the story of a younger Batman facing up against a mysterious new foe during a Christmas blizzard is at least an original take on the series. Where it faltered, however, is its numerous bugs and glitches which were slowly resolved over time. But none of those issues should prevent it from being bought and played by new players on modern consoles. <laughs> and yet, despite numerous re-releases of the Rocksteady trilogy, this sole entry from WB Games Montreal is oddly lost to the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, although you can still buy it on PC. Perhaps WB will finally give us a remaster to recoup those Suicide Squad costs. Just a thought. Number 6. Borderlands the Pre-Sequel Everyone assumed Gearbox was hard at work on Borderlands 3, which would obviously arrive before 2015, and so there was no need to pay attention to that silly spin-off Borderlands the Pre-Sequel, which meant 2K Australia's rather original take on the loot shooter was underrated right from the launch. Exploring the open vacuum of space on barren planets meant constantly recouping your oxygen while performing floaty moon jumps. This demanding loop became oddly addictive, and it's a shame some of these mechanics haven't returned to the franchise since, even if some of the characters from this game have been seen elsewhere. I mean, they kind of had to be. This game takes place before and after Borderlands 2. Pre-sequel. You get it? Number 5. Yakuza 0 After years of radio silence from the western side of Sega, the Yakuza franchise finally returned to English players in Yakuza 0, which in truth is a rather odd choice. The Yakuza series features an elaborate story with multiple generations of characters who age as the series goes on. Playing a prequel with not one but two protagonists who haven't even met yet seems like a surefire failure for new players. And yet, Yakuza 0 gave birth to the modern Like a Dragon fanbase, thanks to its beautiful mashup of beat-em-ups and RPGs, all taking place in the 1980s. 80s Japanese boom market, where the rising yen completely changed class and society within Japanese cities. Yakuza 0 is now a favorite among fans, new and old. Number 4. Halo Reach There's a lot more going on in Halo Reach than a simple story of multicolored super soldiers getting their collective butts handed to them by the alien Covenant forces. By this point, it was clear Bungie had ambitions beyond their first console success, and Halo Reach allowed them to experiment with a plethora of ideas, including sprinting, jetpacks, and the introduction of Firefight, a cooperative mode which had players battling waves of enemies until the final player is down. Bungie would go on to create the Destiny series, and at this time are a first-party studio for Sony. Following their previous ownership under Activision Blizzard, Halo Reach shows Bungie at its most free and playful. No longer attempting to become the next big thing, and no longer held back by narrative, some would say this is the best Halo ever. Number 3. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater Metal Gear Solid 2 is known for many, many things, including its inventive gameplay and forward-thinking story. It's also known for being a dirty trick. Players were expecting to follow Solid Snake's adventures only to find the origin story of series newcomer Raiden. Ironically, this 1960s prequel is also attempting the exact same switcheroo, as without spoiling too much, players were under the assumption this story was starring Solid Snake, which it is not, but all was forgiven as Snake Eater arguably has the single best story ever featured in a Hideo Kojima game, showing the grueling journey of one soldier to prevent an international nuclear war forced to face off against his mentor, now turned enemy. A game so compelling, you can overlook its bizarre subtitle. The heck is a Snake Eater? Number 2. Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island Video game prequels have more or less existed since the start of video games, but like most stories of their era, they hardly called attention to themselves unless you were reading instruction manuals. Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island features perhaps the only character that would be able to portray the passage of time in video games to a mainstream audience, as obviously the baby with the red hat grew up and, wow, that hat held up nicely. Yoshi's Island's egg-tossing hover-jump gameplay is oddly reminiscent of Kirby, but with much more demanding mechanics. It's a good game, and an obvious prequel, but be careful about calling it the sequel to Super Mario World in some circles. Number 1. Red Dead Redemption 2 there's simply no other game that comes close to the narrative breadth and depth of Red Dead Redemption 2. The previous game took place several years after this one, where characters were forced to deal with the repercussions of their actions, which were always alluded to, even in great detail, but never seen. This sequel gave players the outlaw lifestyle as a member of Dutch's gang, always searching for a place to call home, always robbing and hurting innocent people along the way as they attempt to escape the taming of the West and the order of the law. No other AAA game is as focused on uncovering the complexity and horror of a American history, quite like Red Dead Redemption, and you can find that history represented in each of its characters, for better or worse. And there you have it, the seven best prequel games of all time ranked. How about another trip down memory lane on that search bar and looking up another list? Keep clicking around here in Game Rant, and we'll see you next time.